How are you guys doing? You love animals? Love animals. We got enough as it is in our house. Oh, you do? That's awesome. Four dogs right now. So. You, you want to see why we're here? Yeah, sure. We're, uh, we're playing standard footage from the meat, egg and dairy industry. So what you see on here right now is just chickens. These are uh, these are all female, fully grown within six weeks, and they're usually on your plate. Their eggs are uh, taken away from them, and if the uh, if the eggs are male, and you guys don't know this, the male chicks are useless to the uh, egg industry. For one, the um, they don't grow fast enough, and of course they don't lay eggs. They keep a couple for roosters, and the rest on day one of life. You drop them alive into a macerator, like a blender, chop them up alive. These are free range, cage free. They have them crammed by the thousands, you know, in little sheds. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Yes. I, uh, we live in Emporia. IBP, okay. We have Tyson chicken. Okay. All that have down. you ever worked there? No, no, no. Okay. So this is just just part of what goes on in, in the egg industry. They're so pumped up with antibiotics. Yeah. That, you know, they're um, six weeks on your plate. Six wow. weeks of life, isn't it? So I mean, if you put yourself in, in their position just for a minute, you won't want that to happen to us, especially the fact that they're innocent if they've done anything right. wrong. Yeah. This is the stuff the uh, egg and meat industry don't want you to see. Right. So your money goes to you know supporting this. Have you ever thought about maybe going vegetarian? Have you ever heard of that? Vegetarian? Yeah, yeah. Or the word vegan? My sister and her girlfriend are vegan. Okay. This is on is this gonna stay on the uh, chickens here? Oh it's changing over to me. So in the pork industry, the bread in these mass factories now all over America all over the world actually and uh, forcibly impregnated and uh, within six months old six month infants and taken to the slaughterhouse and it's standard now that they actually gas them in gas chambers before they put a knife in the throat and slit the throat at six month old and then um, they stay in this this is where the mother lives their entire life until they stop producing babies so uh, when you're choosing, you know, to buy meat products in the store, this is what your money support. You know? So making that easy choice for me to go vegan was, uh, you know, easy. When I put myself in the animal's position, I just want to live. You think you think this is cruel? It's terrible. You think it's wrong? It's terrible. So you, you guys are against? Would you say against animal abuse? Of course. Do you think you could be against this? while still supporting it by buying meat and dairy. That's a tough to yeah. Right, yeah. When, when I was there myself, that would make me a hypocrite. You know, I'm paying for it with this hand and then against it here. Right, so it was an easy choice for me to align my morals, which I say I have, you know, because I'm against this with my actions, by choosing uh, plant-based alternatives. Plant-based alternatives. Yeah. Do you think? Oh, let me give you this card to take with you. This is a list of documentaries on here. This is our Facebook group. Uh, the fourth one down is called Dominion. And this, uh, definitely check it out. Any browser on your, on your computer, watch dominion.com. Watch it for yourselves, make up your own mind. It's all the hidden truths about the egg, uh, awesome. meat and dairy industry. Thank you guys for Thank you. Appreciate your open-mindedness and stopping. Yeah. Take care. How you doing? You wanna see why we're here today? We're educating people walking by on living a vegan lifestyle. It saves the animals, it saves the planet, it saves yourself. You want to see why we're here today? Thank you. How you folks doing? Good, how are you? You want to see why we're here today? We're educating people to be uh, live a vegan lifestyle for animals. It's real hard. That's okay. Yeah. It was hard for me too until. Uh, Watch Dominion.com. Watch it. At
watchdominion.com. Watch it yourself and then have your children watch it. How you doing, sir? We're educating people walking by and living a vegan lifestyle. This is how, this is how your food's made. So you didn't know. You want to see why we're here today? You want to see why we're here? We're educating people to live a vegan lifestyle. Okay. You heard of that before? Vegan? All across America. Did you ever seen anything like this before? They're all like babies. Yeah, I don't really like to watch it though. So, did you you try going vegan before or vegetarian? I, I went vegetarian for a little bit, yeah. Why, why did you do that? Um, just for health know, reasons? Like healthier and then also fat. Yeah, you know, you know what? The meat, egg, and dairy industry, they don't want you to see this stuff for a reason. Because when you're going into like McDonald's and you're buying a burger, you don't see that the animal has to die. The innocent animal has a knife to its throat, chopped up. It's all behind scenes. I mean, if you had to kill the animal yourself, you'd be vegan. The whole world would be vegan if they had to kill their own animals. So that's what we're out here doing. Let me tell you just two, I know you're probably in a rush. Let me tell you two quick facts that I think that you should definitely go away and think about. So in the dairy industry, the female cows are forcibly raped every single year and they have to have a baby to constantly produce milk. After four years they usually stop producing and that's why they're slaughtered and if the baby is a male, useless to the dairy industry, they don't, for one they don't want it drinking the milk and sell that, so they, they usually kill the males when they're just a day or two old, they bash them in the head, slit the throat and they're sold as veal. You know what veal is? In restaurants, it's a little tiny tender cut steak. Yeah. It's so tender because it's an infant. It's a baby that's been taken away from its mother. So, you think this is wrong? So, you, would you say you're against animal abuse like this? Yes. Do you think you can be against this while still supporting this by still buying meat, eggs, and dairy? Because I was, and. Um, I no longer wanted to be a hypocrite because I can't be against this while still paying for it to happen. So I aligned my morals with my actions and I choose uh, plant-based options. I live a yeah. vegan lifestyle. Let me give you this little card to take away with you. It just has a list of documentaries on there and I would really want you to watch this one called Dominion. Dominionmovement.com on any internet browser. It's free to watch. Make up your own mind. Don't just listen to me. So, do you think you could just go vegan right now? If I had the money, I definitely would. But <laughs> you, know, you know, being vegan, it's even cheaper than, than everything else. You know, all the vegetables, fruits and beans. It's crazy cheap. <laughs> what, 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 what would be stopping you over the money? Well, like, there's like, like mayo, like stuff like that that has like, eggs and stuff in it. I eat Hellman's uh, vegan mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Tastes exactly the same. It's a dollar more. Okay. I'll definitely look into that, okay? Just remember, as you go today, you have this opportunity to stop these animals suffering in your name. So, you think about that. The longer you take, the longer they suffer, okay? okay. Watch the documentary. Thank you for stopping. Uh, you want to see why we're out here today? Want to see why we're out here today? Uh, you want to see why we're here today? Well, that's okay. Thank you. I've got to change that without speaking to a person for an hour. You want to see why we're here? Oh, no, we're good. Thank you. We're educating people living a vegan lifestyle. How are you folks doing? Hello. We're educating people and living a vegan lifestyle for the animals, for health reasons, and the environment. These don't, the animals don't want to die though. I know. You know? She knows. 
He came back. clearly got compassion and you're open-minded, don't pay for it anymore. How you folks doing? You want to see why we're educating people on living a vegan lifestyle? Oh, not, not today, but... Choosing compassion over pleasure? How you folks doing? Doing good. You want to see why we're here? US Bank for kindly letting us use their property as always for talking to and educating the world on compassion. You want to see why we're here today? Educating people on living a vegan lifestyle. If you could say one thing to a closed minded person, what would you tell them? You heard of veganism? Yeah. Check it out. Watch Dominion.com. You all ever thought about going vegan? that all the people know. You want to see why we're here today, ladies? How you doing? You, know. you want to see why we're here today? No, thank you. You, la you ladies want to see why we're here? Hey folks, you want to see why we're here today? You folks want to learn about veganism today? Compassion to animals? You want to see why we're here today? You want to see why we're here? Oh, that's, that's all right. You guys want to learn about veganism? All right, take care. You don't like animals? How you folks doing? You want to learn about veganism today? Take a free card. Are you against animal cruelty? You want to you want to stand up? I'm going to go back to what I'm going to do. You want to see why we're here today? You want to see why we're here today? We come all the way from England. From where? England. Oh, the UK? I'm just joking, I'm from England. Oh, okay. No, we're, uh, we're, sh we're showing the, the, the truth in the meat, egg and dairy industry. Are you a vegetarian, oh. vegan or anything? Oh, um... You ever thought about it? Yeah, no, I'm, I've seen like these documentaries and how they, like oh. Tyson and like... Okay. All the companies yeah, all that, that they do. Well, it's not even that, you know, uh, I'll just give you, give you two
two quick points here. You know, in the egg industry, uh, when, when they're hatched, the males on day one of life are useless to the egg industry. So on day one, they go along a conveyor belt and drop into a blender alive. Day one of life. They what? They're dropped into a blender oh God. and chopped up alive. Day one of life. So, I mean, just by buying eggs, that's what This is the truth that they don't want us to see, you know? And did you know in the dairy industry, um, the, fe the female cow has to be forcibly impregnated every single year and uh, has to have a baby every year. And if the baby is male, it uh, has its head bashed in and throats like it's useless, useless to the dairy industry. Why do, you think the, why do you think the whole industry does this? It's the only way to kill. You know? It's the what? It's the only way to kill. Do you, do you know pigs, uh, all around the world, organic, free range, humane pigs are uh, sent to the slaughterhouse uh, at six months old and they, they're put into gas chambers and they gas them, Jeez. six months old. Would you say that's cruel, animal cruelty? Oh yeah. Animal abuse, are you, would you be against, are you against animal abuse? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So do you think someone can be against this? while uh, still supporting it by still buying meat eggs and dairy? Um, no, I think that would make them a hypocrite. That's right. Yeah. That's a good way of thinking about it. So, do you think you could go vegan? Me? Um, maybe. What would be stopping you? Well, basically, probably, hmm, what I would do is, what I do is I go to the herd to basically get the stuff from the local farmers where I know they're being treated better. Let me, let me tell you something about local farmers. I worked on a dairy farm and I worked on a local farm too. And in the dairy industry, it doesn't matter how nice you treat them in the field or in a shed, they both got the same slaughterhouse through the same door together. You know, so there's no, the words like, oh, they're just words your purchasing choices. Uh, make you feel good when you're choosing organic free-range eggs. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like just like fancy or deceptive marketing kind of. Right. You wouldn't choose caged eggs because the 59 cents. You would go with the free-range for 89 cents. You know? Yeah. Just words to make you feel good. So, I mean, over, for me, when I went vegan, it was easy because I can put myself in the animal's position, and I wouldn't want that to happen to me. So it's easy for me. Yeah. For, for, for the regular people out there, it's hard because they just think about themselves. Yeah, you know, like so many people are just... They sell plant-based everything, you know, so you don't have to eat. They sell plant-based pork, plant-based plant chicken. It's crazy, yeah, yeah. you know, so... Uh, yeah, there's so many alternatives now. So, what, you can just go vegan? <laughs> go to the Merc, they sell a lot of vegan products. All you have to do, yeah, you know, know, when you reach over to, to the food, just reach across slightly to the right and choose the, the cruelty-free option. Yeah, you know? I could try it, just like... Uh, I see, I see I see compassion in you. I yeah, think you're open-minded enough to, to think about things. <laughs> I guess I, I can just admit that I'm like, I, I guess I'm a killer, right? That's, so, that's all right. Most people are. I was too. Yeah. But when you align your ma actions with your morals that you say you have, that you're, that you're against this, and, and align that with your actions by just choosing the plant-based options, um, it makes you no longer a hypocrite. It's like a drug. It's the very first addiction you've ever been given. I got some. I got something for you to take home. I do think veganism and vegetarianism. I um, think it's. Um, I th oh, sorry. On that list, there, real quick, I'll just tell you. What? what? What I want you to watch, and you've probably not watched it yet. On this yeah. side here, about number four down, it's called Dominion. You just go to any browser and type in that okay, Dominion it's movement. On it's on YouTube as well. Okay. Watch it. Make up your own mind. Go yeah. even listen to me. Yeah, yeah. And. Uh, uh, Right, that gives a more you have a more, more choice. Yeah, you know, it's it's quite a choice. Now. Yeah, me too. There's a lot of stuff out there, man. Yeah. Just, just another uh, amazing documentary. We don't have on the cards right now, but it's uh, it talks about it's a whole lot of like professional athletes and everything speaking about the benefits that they experience going vegan too. Oh, okay. With health wow, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Really okay. So just remember, you, you got an opportunity today to stop. These animals suffer in, in your name. They no longer have to suffer in your name anymore. Yeah. Just by so going what, vegan. So what's like the um, so what's like the
like the end game, what do you see? Do you the end game is about promises. By doing this, you envision being different, right? Eventually, the, you know, the farmers, they all can mass breed these artificially. And we're causing the supply and demand by paying for these products. Yeah, so, it's just like how we, we plan to continue giving them our money to buy the two-day shipping. Right, so as long as we stop paying, we stop causing that supply and demand, things change. Yeah. You know? So you think if you can get enough people uh, to do this, kind of boycott it and wait, this kind of lifestyle, right? Then it kind of dies out and will kind of go in some other direction. We'll see it yeah, it's going to go up again. Wow, For, firstly your health, uh, meat, eggs and dairy are the only toxic foods in this world that are loaded with cholesterol that's bad for you. The body produces its own cholesterol and then um, also as soon as I went vegan I lost 15 pounds Just and uh, you know I have the best cholesterol ever so my blood works amazing and uh, I feel good, I'm just not being cruel anymore, I'm, I'm not supporting yeah, any kind of cruel. Awesome. Anyway that's another discussion. Are you going to watch a documentary? Yeah, I'm going to check it out on YouTube. You, got, you gave me the card. We actually have a YouTube channel. My name is Brian. Brian, cool. I'm John. John. So I have a YouTube channel. Um, and this is our Facebook group. You're quite welcome to join on there. And I do put educational videos on there. So, And I'm going to probably put a video of today on there. So you don't mind being on there, do you? What? You don't mind being on there on YouTube? Oh, what? Like filming or something? Yeah. Oh, this is filming? Yeah, I'll just delete you if you say no, it's fine. Oh, yeah, I prefer not to be. That's okay. Yeah. No problem. Well, actually, I don't know. No, no one really sees it, just animal activists, we share it to other people. We're a very open minded, it's, I love listening to people's personal opinions about things. Well, I mean, if you think it'll help your, uh, your cause, you awesome. can go for it, actually. Yeah. Appreciate it. Awesome. So, you're going you gonna to watch it? Yeah. Dominion? You've awesome. got like all the, you've got a handful of videos there on the back right too. Yeah, I mean. So are you guys Dominion? Uh, no, no. Um, the the Dominion documentary. That's just like the best one, you think? There's definitely someone who really doesn't understand that meat is not actual food. It's the rotten flesh of innocent animal beings that didn't want to die. Yeah. And then I would definitely recommend go to YouTube, YouTube and type in the best speech we'll ever hear. It's by a guy called Gary Roski and he taught, he's very educational uh, and he talks about the ethics of uh, eating animals in a way much more, a better way than me. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not a pro at this, but this guy is. Okay, cool. And then, um, you've probably seen the rest, Cowspiracy. Yeah, I think that's me. You, want to, you guys want to see why we're out here today? Educating people on living a vegan lifestyle? We should go to Archie Bells. I haven't been there yet. You folks want to see why we're here today?